So today I'm going to be having a quick declutter of my wardrobe and if you watched my last minimalism video, I find that word so hard to say, minimalism, it's just not the easiest word, not very minimal, um, but anyway if you watched my last minimalism video you'll know that I had an absolutely huge declutter where I got rid of I think the most stuff that I have ever gotten rid of, um, which felt really good, I gave a lot to charity, I've sold a lot, so I kind of have got down to a really good place in my wardrobe where most of the clothes I kind of wear regularly. But you might be thinking, hang on, that was like a month ago that you uploaded that. That is true, but I did actually film that video back in February and I pretty much edited it back then as well, but it's been a really busy year and I just never got around to uploading it. So it has actually been about six months since that video was filmed and at the end of that video I did the hanger trick. Um, which is basically where, I, think, I don't know if you can see from there, but you hang the hangers around the wrong way and then when you wash and rehang clothes, you turn the hanger around the right way so you can identify which clothes have and haven't been worn. So today I'm going to quickly fire through my wardrobe and take out some of my summer clothes because now we're into autumn and I don't have any like hot holidays or trips planned unfortunately for the rest of the year. I'm not going to be needing them so I'm going to free up some space and then probably get rid of a few things because I know there's quite a few things with the hangers around the other way and um, I just did not get wear out this summer. So let's get started. So to start I have a bunch of black items from the end of my wardrobe. So this is a little jumpsuit which I actually bought for my honeymoon and I love it so I'm definitely going to be keeping that one. Then these all had the hanger turned the wrong way still. So um, this is a top um, that I spoke about in my last declutter. It's what I wore to my first ever gig when I used to be in a band. Uh, it actually was originally a dress, but it's super short. Um, so I haven't worn this yet, but it's been summer. So hopefully I will wear that. Then I've got again, some little velvet, like a play suit and a dress, which I haven't worn, but I will in winter. Another little, mm, I'm gonna try this on because I used to love this little jumpsuit and I still think it is quite cute but I haven't worn it in a while so I'm going to put that in a try on pile. Definitely just missed the bed. Um, and then this again, oh, so I used to love this dress, I wore this all the time at uni but I haven't worn it in a good couple of years and I have a lot of other t-shirt dresses now so I'm going to put this in the try on pile but it's probably gonna go. Next it's gonna be super quick. I just have three little t-shirt dresses. I live in these in the summer. I absolutely love them. Actually, I feel like I can probably put these away now because you don't really wear t-shirt dresses in the winter. But yeah, I love all of these. Matt absolutely hates this one. I've had it for years. It's like a cool like band tee vibe and then it has this lace around the bottom. I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pack these away for the summer. Then here I have this beautiful Ted Baker dress. It's one of the last like, of my Ted Baker purchases left. I mean, I haven't worn it in a while, but it's just this absolutely stunning maxi dress. Um, I'm gonna keep hold of it because I really like it. Again, another two summer dresses. I didn't wear either of these this year, but I wore them a lot the year before. So I'm gonna put these in the try on pile, but I think they might might be going. This is a really cute little cover up that again I got for my honeymoon. I'm gonna keep hold of this but pack it away for summer. And then this is a little red velvet play suit which is the same as the black one that I have and I do really like this. It is a really good staple. I'm gonna try it on because I always choose to wear the black one over the red one so I think that needs to be tried on. Then these summer dresses. I have worn all of these this year so it's just a maxi dress two little, th I always go to say three people instead of three people, um, but two little three people dresses, which I absolutely love. They're so nice for holidays. And then this maxi dress, which I have had for absolutely years, like at least seven or eight years, but I just wear it year on year. It's so cute. It's just a maxi dress with this nice tie dye print. Um, and I can't remember what that style is called, but it's like short at the front, long at the back. Um, so yeah, I love that piece, so I'm keeping all of these. Next I have two more little dresses. This one is a little summer dress which I didn't wear at all this summer, but again I wore a lot the year before, so I'm going to try that one on. Um, and then this I haven't worn yet, but this is more of like a winter dress because it's velvety, so I'll hang that back up. 
actually just full. I'm gonna put these away for the summer as well because they are all very summery dresses. Next, I have three more t-shirt dresses. Again, I wore all three of these um, a lot this summer. They're all from Misguided originally. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep hold of these but put them in the summer pile. Then I have, uh, this is something that I got when, I think my mum got it for me when I went traveling to Australia. It's like a little shorts um, and t-shirt set and it's been too small for me for a while now um but i really like it so i don't want to get rid of it um i'm gonna try it try it try it on and see if by some miracle it now fits me now this is a tough one it's a really cute little play suit but it is so difficult to iron so before we go on holiday it will be ironed and then as soon as you get there it's just full of creases I really like it, but it's not very practical. I'm going to try it on and and see. And then this is a Ted Baker dress, which I have worn to quite a few weddings. Um, and it's just nice to have like a high quality piece in your wardrobe for fancy events. So I think I will hold on to that one. But these are all summer pieces. So these two are gonna go in the try on pile, this in the summer archives. Both of these I know straight away I want to keep. Um, so this is a really cute little dress. Um, I'm just trying to think if I would wear this in the winter. It looks really nice in the summer, just with like trainers. Um, I think it is a bit more of a summer dress. So I'm gonna put that away with the summer stuff. And then this is the most beautiful little white play suit with like lace detailing um where was that from miss selfridge um and i wore that to my family hem party so i absolutely love that and definitely gonna keep it but i'm gonna put these both in the summer items on to bottoms so i have these little black kind of don't know what they're called just palazzo pants i don't know but they're really comfy um got a lot of wear out of these so i'm gonna keep those then I have just a plain pair of black jeans. I also have a pair of rips in, but they're in the wash. And I don't actually have any blue jeans. So these are pretty much my go-to trousers that I wear all of the time. Then I have, on this hanger, ooh, um, three black skirts. So I have one with daisies on it. Then this black, um, what is the pattern called? I really can't even think today whatever this pattern is called, check, a checked skirt, which I love. And then this black velvet one, I wear all of those quite a lot, so definitely keeping those. Then I have this little gray kind of school, school skirt style skirt, and I love this, so definitely gonna keep this. Next, I have this like gray velour dungarees. I wore this a few years ago. Don't really think it's my style anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, a cute little blue skirt, I wore that a lot this summer, so definitely holding on to that. And then these are my blue, like, full-length dungarees, and <sighs> I haven't worn them in, like, a year or so. just don't think I'm really into the dungaree vibe anymore, but uh, this was the outfit that I wore when we got our house. Um, I'm going to put them in the try on pile. And then a little denim dungaree dress. Again, I'm gonna put it in the try on pile, but I think that one could probably go because I haven't worn that in a good couple of years. Next, I have this pair of red um, trousers, very similar to the black pair. They are super comfortable, I wear them a lot. Um, and yeah, definitely gonna keep hold of those. And even though they're quite bright in the winter, I like to wear them with like a jumper. And if you're just trying to be a bit more bright, make yourself feel good, it's nice to wear something with a bit of a pattern. Um, and then I have these beautiful, pink um trousers and they have like a nice stripe down the side and i absolutely love these i got them a few years ago but they're actually too big for me now so i got my mom to like kind of adjust them a little bit but just tap them in and they're actually really uncomfortable now so maybe i need to get them professionally altered because they are too big but i do really like them so i'm going to look into getting those altered because they are just so classic and beautiful and look really nice with a really tight fitting top but they're just too uncomfortable to wear at the moment. Next, I have um, just these really cute pink shorts. Absolutely love these, wore them to death this summer. Um, don't think I'll wear them in the winter, so I'm gonna put these away for summer. Then I have a pink little denim skirt, 
and a pink kind of faux suede skirt. Um, both of which, again, are too big for me because I got them when I had put on a bit of weight. So I think I might need to take those with the trousers to get adjusted because they're really nice classic pieces, but at the moment they just don't fit nicely at all. Finally, I have this beautiful yellow kind of floral ruffled skirt. And again, this is too big for me, but that was because I wasn't able to get a smaller size. So my mum has actually adjusted this one really well for me. Um, and it looks so beautiful. I actually had trouble pairing it with stuff in the summer. So I was gonna put it um, for sale, but I wore it the other day with like a gray roll neck um, and it looks so pretty. So I think this is actually gonna be a really nice winter piece. Next, I have another pair of dungarees and I've actually never worn these. They still have the label in. Um, yeah, I just don't really think they're my style. I'll try them on, but I think they're gonna go. Then finally on bottoms, I have these white pinstripe um, trousers. I absolutely love these. They are so comfortable. They have a tie waist and I've had them for a few years now and I just wear them all of the time. So definitely gonna keep those. Then I have this pair of like loose floaty white and yellow floral trousers, which I love and I've worn loads this summer and I would wear in the winter with kind of like a jumper or a tight top. So definitely gonna keep those. And finally, I have um, these white linen trousers, which I wore maybe a couple of years ago. Then I went to wear them this summer and I just did not find them comfortable. So I'm gonna get rid of them. Onto tops, um, this black and white um, striped roll neck from Forever 21. I've had this for absolutely years and I wear it all of the time. So definitely keeping that. And this is just a plain black, very dog hairy, um, roll neck which is just such a classic so i'll be keeping that and then this one i have not worn since my last declutter i've held on to this for a while but i just don't think this like bejazzling is really for me um so i never choose to wear it plus i like tops with like a high neck or a roll neck so i think this one can go uh, next to tops i have um just some plain black little tank tops this gray one here is definitely seen better days. Um, it's gone very bobbly, so I think this one can go. This is the problem with doubling up your hangers. It's so hard to get one thing off. Then I have this hanger, which just has my off the shoulder tops. So I have a red one, a black one, um, both cropped, and then a full length black ribbed one. And these are all just such staples I've had for years and I just wear with everything. So yeah, I think they can all stay. Onto the car keys. Um, I just got a khaki roll neck jumper, which I've had for years, wear all the time. Uh, this is a like long sleeved khaki top from Gap, which I've kept through many declutters, but I don't really like the neckline, so that one can go. And then just some little kind of crop tops, which again, really good basics, so I'm gonna keep those. Two more pieces with the hanger around the wrong way that I have not worn in a really long time. So this I think I just held on to because I wore it on our like final day at uni when I can't remember our final exam or something. Um, but it's just not my style anymore, so that one can go. And this I have had since school. I remember wearing this into sixth form a lot. Um, it's just like a black jumper. Um, but yeah, I never wear that anymore, so that one can go. Then onto the reds. In case you haven't noticed, I love to colour coordinate my wardrobe. Um, I just like the way it looks and it makes it easier when you're looking for like a certain thing. Um, oh, I just had this little red cropped jumper. Guess where that one's from? Um, but yeah, I haven't really worn it um, this summer much, but it's a cute little jumper, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. And then just a black high neck roll neck. Didn't make sense, just a little jumper that's high necks. Um, and I wear that a lot, so I'm gonna keep that. And then I have this purple jumper, which I'm gonna try on because I really like the material. It's really soft, but it's kind of shapeless. Um, so whenever I go to wear it, it doesn't really make me feel good. So I'm gonna try it on, see if I can make it work, but I think I'll probably get rid of that one. Coming to the end now, um, I've just got this hanger that is full of little crop tops and just like vest tops, which are, you know, great for mainly the summer, but I might wear them in the winter and they don't take up a lot of room. So I'm gonna leave those hanging. And then I have 
a little cropped top, which I really like, but the hanger's round the wrong way because I haven't had a chance. Oh, thought I could be cool and like keep talking. Um, I haven't had a chance to wear it yet, so I'm gonna put that in my summer stuff, but definitely holding on to it. Looks like we're done. My wardrobe actually goes back a little way that way. So we just have a few more bits to go. Next, we have this yellow jumper, which I haven't worn, but it is more of a wintry piece and as we've been in the summer months, so hopefully I will wear this soon. Um, and then this is the same as the grey jumper that I got rid of. I've had it since school, haven't worn it, so that one can go. Then last of the tops, I have this really cute white off the shoulder top. I wore this um, in like some of the pictures we took after Matt and I had got engaged and I've had it for years. So I kind of want to hold on to it, but it's really uncomfortable um, and very see-through. So I'm going to try it on, see if I can make something work, but I might have to go. And then this is just another hanger with little white camis on. So I've got the high necked one, one with like lace around the top, and then another high necked one. Wear these all the time. Great basic, so I'll hang on to all of those. Finally, onto jackets. This is a little black faux leather jacket that I have had for years, wear it a lot, gonna keep that. Um, and then this is a Zara cardigan that again, I have had for years since I was in school. And I always feel like you should have a cardigan, but I don't really like cardigans. So if I ever have to wear one, I would choose this, but don't love it. And oh, I just saw, I wonder if you could wear it reversible. Nope. I thought that would look quite cool if it was gray. Um, I'm gonna try this on. Okay, last batch. So this is my vintage Tommy Hilfiger denim jacket. My mum got this for me for my birthday a couple of years ago. I absolutely love it. I wear it all the time. It's so comfortable, really nicely oversized. So definitely gonna keep that. Then these three all had the hangers the wrong way. So this is like a little faux fur jacket which I haven't worn, but that's because it's been summer and it's really cute over stuff in the winter when you go for like a night out. So I'm gonna keep her. And then I have two more cardigans. Um, this is one that I got a while ago and I thought it looked really cool. And now whenever I wear it, I just feel like really like, oh, you know? So I think this one's had its time. Again, this is another cardigan that I bought when I was like, everyone needs cardigans, but I don't really like cardigans, so she can go too. Okay, so this is an insane amount of clothes that have gone from my wardrobe space. That is so much nicer to look at. And what I might do now is get all of my jumpers, because I have a lot of winter jumpers, out of the drawers and hang them up, because they are quite bulky, so they do need a lot of room. But before that, I'm going to try on the try on clothes and see how we go. I am a big fan of this with the belt. It looks so nice, cinched in, kind of has the gathered bit, so much better. So, ooh. So I've just put on my plain black roll neck and now I'm gonna try all of the dungarees on with it to see if I'm gonna let them go. Okay, this is actually a cute look for shopping. This is the little like beige corduroy dress that still has the tags in. I actually really like this, so I'm gonna keep it. I do like the denim one. This is very classic, so I'm going to keep her too. Do you know what? I don't even need to try these on. They hold such a sentimental value for me and I'm going to wear them, so I'm going to keep these ones too. This one I do not like so much. It's giving me kind of apron-y vibes, um, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Finally, a trial item, which I am getting rid of. So this is the little black jumpsuit and I wasn't sure if it fits me anymore because when I tried it on like a year or so ago, it didn't but it fits really nicely now and I love it. It's really cinched in at the waist, so it's super flattering, uh, really nice for summer or winter. So this one can stay. So I've just put away all of the clothes that I tried on. So this is kind of the finished wardrobe now, which is so much nicer, so much easier to find things because often when your wardrobe's overflowing, it feels like you've got nothing to wear, which is ridiculous when you have so many clothes, but I always think that. So I'm really excited that it's now gonna be really easy to find things. And here I just have the selection of things that I am getting rid of. So I'm either gonna donate these to the charity shop or sell them. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it inspired you to have an autumnal clear out of your wardrobe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.